science is beautiful, it's, it's absolutely beautiful ideas, but we can also really bring an aesthetic to it, which makes it so much more impactful and can allow your ideas to have a much greater reach. Data visualization infographics are now in every newspaper in the country. In many ways, this seems like a very, very new phenomenon, but it actually has a very interesting and very rich history. This diagram here by Florence Nightingale is truly one of those diagrams that has actually changed the world, it's changed science, it's changed the way in which things were done. Many people think of Florence Nightingale as the lady with the lamp, but she was actually an incredibly eminent statistician in her own right. And during the Crimean War, she gathered data about how people were dying. The red on this diagram is the wounds, and in blue here, that's all preventable diseases basically acquired in hospital conditions. What's really quite remarkable here is that she shows that by implementation of sanitary reforms, you have a really dramatic reduction in the number of deaths that were occurring due to poor sanitary conditions in hospitals. This was a very political diagram that um, she gave to all sorts of government ministers, etc., with the specific intention of driving through massive public health reforms. The human genome is an incredibly complex thing. It's absolutely massive amounts of data. Here, what we're doing is comparing the human genome to that of a chimpanzee, a dog, a chicken, and a platypus. Each of these circles is a different chromosome. So we've got our 22, and then we've got X and Y chromosomes. And um, on the top, we've got the animal genome. And then on the bottom, we've got the human chromosome. And all of these colored areas are areas of genomic similarity. These diagrams are actually published all the time in the scientific literature where scientists are looking for connections between genes and different diseases, trying to actually reconstruct the tree of life in different and interesting ways. It's not something where you automatically know what's going on, but they draw you in. You say, oh, what's going on here? And then you actually see, and I think that's quite important. I first encountered this visualization a year or two ago at a scientific conference where NASA had a stand and I was just absolutely gobsmacked by this. I mean th this what we're looking here is ocean currents and this is based on both um, satellite data as well as um, things like ocean buoys and so on. The great thing about this video is it really captures the dynamic nature of our oceans and really emphasizes very beautifully, I think, the way in which these global ocean currents actually work in a very dynamic way in which a simple still of an ocean model wouldn't really do. Data visualization, it's not at all taking away from the science or the data that's actually within them. It's, it's not something where 
you're substituting form for function, but you've got both form and function in these diagrams, and I think that's what makes them so powerful.